Welcome to Cooking with Reclaim Is. My name is Susie Boxman. And I'm Emma Lopez. And today we will be cooking with salt water vegetables, specifically sea purslane, a plant full of protein, omega-3, and vitamins. Today we'll be taking our sea purslane and putting it in a delicious summer salad. The first step for this recipe will be to blanch the sea purslane by putting it in some boiling water for about three minutes and then putting it into an ice bath to stop the cooking process. But first, let's go to Colleen to see where our sea purslane was grown. I'm here at Moat Aquaculture Research Park in Sarasota, Florida to learn more about growing sea purslane with marine aquaponics. Here is the marine aquaponic system. Aquaponic systems use fish waste, high in nutrients such as phosphorus and nitrogen, as a fertilizer to help grow vegetables. Usually they are done with freshwater fish and freshwater vegetables like lettuce and leafy greens. The system at Moat is unique because it grows saltwater fish and vegetables. The marine fish, red drum or red fish, are currently being produced at Moat. Water flows out of the fish tanks and goes into a radio flow filter, then through a cone bottom settling tank. These tanks help filter out any solid material like fish feces that we don't want to reach the plant roots. Next, water flows through this moving bed bioreactor. Here, the ammonium produced by the fish is converted into nitrate. Finally, the water with the nutrients arrives at the plants. The sea purslane is grown hydroponically or without soil. It is suspended on floating rafts, allowing the roots access to the dissolved nutrients in the water. Finally, the water cleaned and filtered by the plants flows back to the fish tanks to repeat the process again. The sea purslane here is being sold at the Sarasota Farmer's Market, and a local restaurant is using it. Now back to Susie and Emma for more information about the sea purslane. Thanks, Colleen. Sea purslane can be grown in a controlled aquaponic system like the one you saw at Moat, but it can also be harvested out in the wild. Sea purslane is a broad name that encompasses multiple plant species. In the Moat system, Cesuvium portulacostrum is being grown. Another species known as common purslane is sometimes used instead. Both plants are edible and considered to have high nutritional value. Sea purslane has been used globally in traditional medicines from Africa to Asia. It's known to have antibacterial, antioxidant, and antifungal properties. Restaurants throughout Europe use sea purslane in their winter cuisine. In Barbados, a woman is collecting sea purslane from the wild and selling it dried. In Sarasota, Mo Aquaculture Research Park has just begun selling its sea purslane at the local Sarasota farmer's market and to a local restaurant called Indigenous. Now that we know some more about sea purslane and where ours come from, let's get cooking. So now that our sea purslane has been blanched, our next step is to cook the quinoa. So we're just gonna follow the directions on the package. And so it'll just get boiled for about 15 minutes and then steamed for another five. And then we'll chop some red onions, avocado, tomatoes, and roast some pine nuts. So for our dressing, we're gonna combine two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of olive oil, and one tablespoon of honey, and then just shake to mix. And then we'll just mix it all together. And here is our finished sea purslane salad. Let's bring Colleen in to try some. Wow, it looks really good, guys. So fun fact, you can also cook the sea purslane in a 450 degree oven for about five minutes and it comes out tasting like popcorn. Wow, it tastes delicious. It would go really good with some fish. Thanks, Susie, for teaching us how to cook with sea purslane, a plant full of nutritional value. You're welcome, Emma. Hopefully you'll see it in a farmer's market sometime soon. 